Okay, uh, I'm going to try to work a couple of examples for you here. I'm going to start with this uh, problem. I don't know if it's from uh, the current edition of the textbook or not, but uh, it, this example will work fine. This is a reheat cycle, ideal Rankin reheat cycle, and uh, says the boiler pressure, boiler pressure is 4 kPa, uh, sorry, 4 MPa, and then so so what does that mean? So the pressure from state two through this boiler to state three, all of that pressure is at 4 MPa, 4,000 kPa. The steam expands through the turbine. The turbine acts as a, a bridge, if you will, between these pressure levels. So if there's a turbine or a pump, there's always going to be a pressure change across, across that device. So the pressure goes from um, 4,000 kPa down to 500 kPa. That's the reheat section. So all the steam is extracted at 500 kPa, and that is then routed back through the boiler to be reheated and it stays at 500 kPa, uh, state 5, goes into the low pressure turbine, uh, and then it says the condenser is at 10 kPa. So again, flow through the turbine, uh, acts as a bridge or a drop in pressure. So uh, the state 6 then has a pressure of uh, 10 kPa. So the condenser which is shown a little bit behind this turbine here, is at uh, 10 kPa. And then uh, there's the pump, and uh, this pump back up to uh, 4 MPa. So uh, those are the sort of the layout here uh, of, the, of the problem. The other information that's given here, is rather than giving us the inlet conditions to these two turbine stages, uh, the outlet condition is specified says the quality at the exit is 90%. So we know that there's 10% moisture um, at the exit of both of the uh, turbines. And it's a little bit, little bit backwards. And they ask us to find the, the inlet condition for the two turbine stages. OK. so. Uh, I made a sketch of a TS diagram here, and I've got I've, this is plotted to scale. Uh, so here's the two-phase region, and I've shown the three pressure levels that are involved here: the four uh, megapascals, 4,000 kPa, 500 kPa, and and 10 kPa. Uh, as you can see here, I've mentioned this before uh, that these saturate. Uh, the saturation line, the blue line, is virtually coincident with this um, line showing constant pressure in the compressed liquid region. And so these lines are very close together. What I'm going to do is the same as what we would do if we were making a drawing by, by hand. Is I'm going to uh, distort these out a little bit so that there's our 4,000 kPa, and here's our 500 kPa uh, lines coming out here. I'm, I'm going to make that one a little bit longer. Okay, uh, there we go. So I think that'll work. So just imagine that this is the uh, 4 MPa line coming all the way into the compressed liquid region, and here's the uh, 500 kPa line coming all the way into the compressed liquid region. So how can we relate these states in this? diagram to the TS diagram. Well, uh, remember that for Rankine cycle, we're always going to start with saturated liquid at state one coming out of the condenser. So uh, that's what that's what I'll do is I'll, I'm just going to draw some blobs on here and let them represent the states. So um, yeah, this would be uh, state one. And I guess probably you'd like to see a number alongside that. So we'll put Put the number one there. Uh, not quite so close. Okay, so what happens next in this problem? Well, we have a pump, and the pump is reversible and adiabatic, therefore isentropic. 
And so on our TS diagram, this is entropy. Uh, S is a constant, so that's just a vertical line, a vertical line on the TS diagram. So let's, uh, let's see if I can make a vertical line. Eh, it's not so vertical. Okay, that's a little bit better. And uh, maybe make it a little bit thicker so we can see it. Yeah, okay. All right. And to kind of move things along here, there's our state two. All right. We've got more than we bargained for with state two. There we go. So state one, state two. So how do we go from state two? State two. We go from state two, we're going to stay at the 4,000, because we pumped up to 4,000 uh, kPa. We're going to stay at 4,000 kPa all the way until we're in the superheated region. How do I know that? Well, going into the turbine, we're going to have typically uh, superheated vapor. So, uh, yeah, actually my drawing here, I didn't go far enough, did I? Why is that? Well, the state 2 is actually at 4 MPa. We pumped it all the way to the boiler pressure. So let's get that straightened out. I can't make that perfect, but that's good enough. So we actually go from 10 kPa to 4,000 kPa. Now I'm ready for my state 3. And as I said, it's somewhere... in the superheated region and all he told me was that the condition at the exit of the turbine was 90 percent quality so I don't know exactly where that's going to fall but let's imagine that it's here and so then we can draw a state 4 which should be the same as the condition coming out of the uh, high pressure turbine, state four. So now it goes back into the boiler. It's going to be heated up. It's going to be heated at constant pressure. There's no pump or um, compressor to increase the pressure through here so this is going to be ideally the same pressure uh, P4 equals P5 uh, it's all going to be a constant pressure so on my TS diagram that means I'm going to move at constant pressure uh, uh, over here somewhere now again this is a little bit odd he didn't give us that second that temperature going into the turbine, he's given us instead the exit condition. So we don't know exactly where that is, and so I'm just going to show it generally over here. And now, um, what he did tell us about this problem is that the exit is at 90% quality. So again, we'll try to copy, we'll try to copy, yeah. put that down here and put a number by it so okay so that's the state six and that should fairly well close out the cycle let's go back and take it because we're going to have condensation from six to one and that should should match things up fairly well okay well let's see uh, take a check on how we're doing here All right. Uh